Welcome back to Global Village. I'm Buddy Kunana. Tonight's topic is Korean culture and Korean-Philippines cultural relations. And our guest is uh, Mr. Uh, Lee Jinchel, and he is the director of the Korean Cultural Center, Manila. You know, uh, Mr. Lee, we've been showing all these nice videos of your country, tourism, culture, art videos, and I mean, all of them really have that combination of music, very nice music, catchy, very beautiful images, very hipply, very hip, very well put together. What makes you guys so good at this? What makes Koreans so good at this? <laughs> and I'll tell you, and, and I'm being very honest with you, I, I guess a lot of people here from different countries and different cultural centers have come here to guest in Global Village, and your videos are actually the best. Thank you, I yeah. appreciate it. <laughs> what is your secret? What makes you guys do, do so well? So, <laughs> even, we, um, even when I gather with uh, we, my friends and me, and me gather together, we just talk about and discuss why, how, yeah. when. Like, but uh, we have no answers for that. So just I guess that um, Korean people, my generation or the, you know, the, the cultural industry, know how to you know, feel, just, uh, they know how to, uh, to make the, the films or the, the contents, the cultural contents, what uh, just as you want to see or feel. Yes, so that's yes. why. But the, it is that Korean culture and K-pop uh, was originated in Korea, but it's not anymore Korean you know, local, local Absolutely. culture. Absolutely, it's a global phenomenon, it's yeah, K-pop. Yeah. And it, yeah. it's, it's unique because it's, a, it's like a fusion yeah. of all the different styles from hip hop to jazz right. to, to rap to, to and, and put it all together in this fusion you come up with this global phenomenon, K-pop. Yeah. Including the, the group dance from the <laughs> India, right? <laughs> Including Bollywood. In fact, in fact, we have a video now. We're going to show a short video just in case some of our viewers, I doubt it, but in case some of them haven't seen or heard of what K-pop is. So let's have a video, quick video. Wow, there you go, K-pop for you. you know? it, it's like a music video on steroids. Yeah. You know? And as you, <laughs> as you said, you know, different, you know, you, I mean, just different images and you know, very fast and, and like a mix of, of like a, a mismatch, a mix match of, 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 of different styles and put together and it, it works. Mm -hmm. you know? How? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what is that group? C can you tell us about that video we saw? I mean, mm -hmm. uh, who are these girls and what yeah. is that song about? That is Korean pop idol, the 21, 21, and uh, that the lyric is the I'm the best, I'm second to none, I'm because I'm gorgeous. Like it's very the kind of proud thing, right? So, <laughs> so I think the maybe the secret for the, the popularity of K-pop, um, uh, maybe it is very open to and observing every cultures, and, and then it doesn't you know disclude the. the it, exclude any you know, race, race or the, any the religion or any other countries like and it just in, embraces everything yes exactly so, yeah, i think yeah. that's it i think that's, that's it. how it can yeah. be su keep successful of course the yeah. biggest k-pop phenomenon was sai i mean he yeah. he broke youtube broke the internet yeah. with over a billion views in six months in six what months a yeah. billion views with this yeah. uh with this uh, uh, gangnam style yes gangnam style yeah yeah gangnam style so, um, and I understand you guys in the Korean Cultural Center are also promoting K-pop. How does that work exactly? How do you promote K-pop with Filipinos? Uh, yeah. So we just support the, the Filipino the fans, the kingdom, okay. the, I mean fandoms, <laughs> not kingdom. 
<laughs> so whenever the fans want to have some kind of some event yes. or the K-pop like um, gatherings, we pro we provide you know our whatever we can do like uh, we can provide the venue and some kind of subject and the uh, souvenirs whatever we do that and we provide DVDs too. So we support you know, the fans and uh, when they just request, we can just you know the the promote. We can have promote. But usually, K-pop itself is not the government to support. It's yeah. a, the, I mean, it, it doesn't need, the market. Yeah, it doesn't need it government need support. It's, it's, yeah. it's, that, it's that popular, especially with the, with the millennials. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, we don't support in the K-pop directly. We support, support only the Filipinos who love K-pop. We right. are supporting Filipinos, not the K-pop artists, no. Not okay. directly, because they are in the market. We yes. don't do that. We are yeah. government office. Yes, yes, we yes don't of do course, that. of yeah. course. And, and maybe promote the awareness of K-pop yeah. and things like that. Um, any big K-pop activity or event next year that you know Filipinos can look forward to? Uh, so, about the KCC? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we are going to have Pinoy K-pop star competition again. Okay, yeah, nice. we, every year we have the competition. So many participants want to be there. But Pinoy K-pop. How does it work? I mean, you get people to, to do that, to kind of perform uh, like a K-pop artist? Is that how it works? Yeah, yeah. So you, um, maybe some of you, you um, among the audience don't understand, but so many Filipino youths want to <laughs> perform the K-pop. So <laughs> when we just open our you know, the website yes. for the application, like 100 people with uh, groups apply and uh, we just make some kind of 30 or 20 the yeah of course you have yeah, to get the to top yeah. 20 or 30 you can top accommodate 20, everyone 30, yes. yeah. Yeah. and we let them you know to compete each other and then uh, if, if we have some kind of some opportunity to invite them to Korea in Changwon they are a very world K-pop world festival they, they, they invite everyone from the you know the, the all around the you know, K-pop stars they are like a foreign K-pop stars <laughs> Uh, we can send them too, but uh, mostly Pinoy K pop star, the, the participants, they, they commit themselves and dedicate themselves for their title. Have, have you seen the K pop, the, the Filipino K pop, yeah, Pinoy K pop I there, yes. uh, groups already? I mean, in action, how, uh, how do you, you find them? How do, they, how do they stack up against the Koreans? I mean, mm. how, how are they? I mean, ah. I mean, the Filipino K poppers. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Are they good? Are they good? I was so amazed to fight them <laughs> okay. because I don't under I don't understand I can how 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 and the where they come came from <laughs> like <laughs> came from out of where so this country is in you know, a full of filled with you know the talented youth no for sure yeah, yeah. then maybe yeah. I don't know I think so <laughs> okay. that's how we get so many K Pinoy K pop stars very good I mean that's something to look forward to K pop is a lot of fun you know and it's something it's something that is very exciting and visual and you know it's 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 something that everyone will really enjoy even yeah. as a spectator yeah. you're you're gonna enjoy K pop yeah. so um, b before we go we've got three or four minutes to close let's talk about another core. A pillar of what you guys do at Korean Cultural Center, which is language ah, instruction, yeah. Korean language instruction. Why study Korean? I mean, let's say if you were to talk to the audience now and uh, say yeah. you have to sell Korean because the audience, the audience has a choice. They can say, oh, I can study Hongo, French, Spanish. Okay. Why study Korean? Why well, study Korea? So I can tell you first, um, you can cultivate yourself as the global citizen. Like uh, you. If you learn Korean and have some kind of some the high level of understanding Korean and you can use fluently, you are going to have the top level of global culture. You will understand and you, you will appreciate more and more and uh, you know better. That's the first reason. And the second reason is Korean language is very emotional. The very, I think you will feel very friendly with the Korean language. And this is a very, uh, uh, very scientific language. So we have um, 10 consonants and 14 vowels. And uh, okay. we can make 11,000 sounds. Why that, other that's languages? That's hard. That sounds yeah, hard. Huh? Very, very yeah, many sounds, yes. like very scientific. And uh, maybe Chinese and Japanese can make less than 1,000. So that will be better for you to understand the global culture. And add, um, adding one more thing, um, Korea is one of the largest economy of the world, like a, a ninth largest, biggest economy. So you may be, it, Korean language may be very helpful for your For sure, I mean, economic opportunities yeah. and all that. But you, you, you forgot a fourth one, you know, mm -hmm. you, can, you can fully understand and enjoy K-pop. 
Yeah. Uh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually the fry. <laughs> you fry on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But, but seriously, yeah. seriously. Um, it, is it difficult to learn? I mean, uh, and you guys offer instruction, mm -hmm. language classes. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a bit about the schedule of your language classes for those interested to learn Korean? Mm -hmm. Uh, we just, you know, this week we are finishing our uh, third term of the year for the language class, but the next year we have the new term, like in January. Uh, we provide basic and uh, intermediate and advanced and uh, intense course for the, the, the Korean spouse who, who, who are married to Korean spouse. And we have many Korean languages, you know, the, the, the classes. So you can check it out, uh, like uh, Korean, uh, Korean culture, pe Korean people. And, and, and you guys have a yeah. complete support, the library, so it's not just, you know, instruction, but they can get, like, a, the whole multimedia support that your library can offer, no? Oh, yeah, yeah. we have a library. Very we good. have uh, many books, Korean books, and uh, media things. Like, uh, you can borrow the DVD, and you can see the music video and the movies there, too. And uh, you can have some uh, the study materials for Korean language, of course. Very good. Mr. Levy, about 30 seconds to close. Uh, would you like to say something to the audience? Maybe um, invite them to visit your website and mm -hmm. enjoy all the, the fun activities that you guys are planning for 2018 at the Korean Cultural Center, Manila. Uh, yeah, 2018. So the Korean Cultural Center started from uh, since 2011. I appreciate the full support and the love by the Filipino people to the Korean culture and Korean Cultural Center. Uh, 2017, we had so many series of the beautiful the projects and the classes and events. And 2018, uh, we will prepare for you uh, the, the more in the, the variety of the films and the activities and uh, some we will invite. Uh, <laughs> you can say it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Surprise people, yeah. We'll yeah. So, when, whenever you, uh, uh, we will prepare the, the many the, the, the improved projects and the activities to surprise you, the, the Filipino people. Great. And of course, go to the mural on 26th and 5th, yeah. the corner, and then yeah. from there, you can go straight to the Korean Center, which is located at um, very close, I think. Very close. Yeah, very close. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So just in the area of Bonifacio Global City, you have the Korean, the ASEAN ROK, Republic of Korea mural, then also the Korean Coastal Center is also located there, just walking distance. So all in one area, and you can mm -hmm. enjoy yeah. Korean culture right here in the Philippines and learn all about this fascinating country and its fascinating people. Mr. Lee, thank you so much for coming on the show. And uh, I look forward to interviewing your artists who are coming next year. Huh? You've got film, you've got artists, you've got film directors, you've got all okay, K-pop stars. Please do bring them to GNN and we'll bring them out and we'll introduce them to the Philippine audience via Global Village. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank, thank you. you so much. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's show on Korean-Philippines relations and of course Korean culture. Join us again next week here in the show and let us take you around the world. Till then, you all have a good evening.